You don't have to be a great writer. You don't have to be a brilliant prose stylist to be a good screenwriter, OK? Um, you don't have to be able to write gorgeous, incredible sentences. In fact, that's not uh, what you should be doing. Screenwriting is simple, clear language. You, uh, I, I have students, I'm like, just use sentence fragments. They're like, I can't. My English teacher would kill me. I can't do it. I'm like, well, this isn't a form of writing that's going to be published. So I say, I always talk about screenwriting be screenwriting as an intermediary art form and novel writing, for example, as a terminal art form. In other words, writing a novel will kill you. No, um, writing a novel, when you're done with that novel, there's nothing between that written page and Joel, my reader. Joel reads the exact words that I write. So it's a terminal. When I'm done picking the perfect words and I lay them out in a sentence, Joel will read those words and experience them. When I'm writing a screenplay that is then given to a director who interprets it, then an actor, then a set designer, then an editor, there's so many things that are altered before Joel, my audience, sees my movie. What you want to do is tell your story, tell it well, tell it from your heart. And if you do, hopefully and ideally, and then, you know, as we showed today, it can speak to other people. And you're bridging those gaps in our culture and making it less divided instead of more divided. Uh, and I would argue that even if you never get a movie made, the act of writing a script can be, I love this word, a growthful experience. Uh, you'll learn about yourself as a writer. Uh, you'll learn about uh, the form of screenwriting as a form, uh, and, and it's a valuable thing to, to develop. I think about what is the worst possible thing that could happen to my main character, and then did I make it happen? We're dealing in an era of branded entertainment. And if you're a studio executive and you're going to spend $100 million on a movie, do you have a choice? Well, Zane wrote a really interesting story about growing up. Where'd you grow up? Columbus, Ohio. Grow <laughs> growing up in Columbus, Ohio, if I have a choice between spending $100 million on making a Spider-Man movie that everyone in the world has heard of Spider-Man or making the Zane Copeland story about childhood in Columbus, Ohio, what are they going to choose? They're going to choose the adaptation. If I say, uh, Doc, I hear voices, um, uh, in clinical psych psychiatry, that would mean I am schizophrenic, right? If I hear voices? Possibly. Possibly. OK? Uh, in this room, that means I'm a writer. Uh, OK? So I want you to hear voices over the next couple days. Um, I want you, when you have a seven-year-old girl, I want you to hear her voice as something distinct and different than a psychiatrist from where are you from? To? Green, Bay, Wisconsin. Green Bay, Wisconsin. I hope and expect you to talk differently than a seven-year-old girl from Columbus, Ohio.